Let's explore energy, electricity, and natural gas. Electricity is delivered through wires via conduction, and natural gas comes into our home through underground pipes. It heats our homes, our water, and cooks our food. Some natural gas we use today took millions of years to form. Let's take a little trip back in time. Bacteria and organic matter like trees, plants, and animals that died were slowly pushed underground and over time, under great pressure, turned into oil, coal, and natural gas. Humans have accessed these resources for centuries. In addition to natural gas, we consume vast amounts of electricity. We power lights. We cool our homes, shops, and schools. We charge our devices like phones, computers, and tablets. For many years, we burned coal and oil to generate that electricity in turbines. But coal is very dirty and extraordinarily bad for the environment. Recently, we've come up with cutting-edge technology to create new sources of energy. Wind turbines generate electricity. Solar farms capture energy from the sun and turn it into electricity as well. But what happens when the wind isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining? We use natural gas in huge power stations to generate electricity. In fact, roughly half of our electricity in Southern California comes from natural gas. Most natural gas comes out of the ground. We have to drill down very deep to access underground gas pockets. It's what we call a non-renewable resource. Once it's used up, it's gone. But natural gas can also be renewable. This truck is picking up yard waste removed from someone's garden. That includes leaves, grass, and even scraps of leftover food. It is then delivered to a material recovery facility. All that plant waste goes into domes called anaerobic digesters, which contain a proprietary mix of liquids and microorganisms that aid in the decomposition. That process gives off a gas, mainly methane gas. This renewable gas can be collected and sent right back into the power infrastructure, supporting non-renewable supplies. It can also power cars and trucks. Here's our waste truck again, getting refueled from the clean, renewable natural gas being produced right here in the anaerobic digester. Farm animals and cows are also useful in creating renewable natural gas, specifically dairy cows. Their manure is collected and transported to a similar anaerobic digester, where it goes through a nearly identical digestive process and becomes, you guessed it, natural gas. Scientists are now working on ways to make natural gas from electricity. It's called power to gas. When renewable energy producers like solar and wind overgenerate electricity, those excesses can be converted into hydrogen and may be transported in utility pipelines and used just like renewable natural gas to fuel our homes, businesses, and factories. It can even fuel our cars and trucks. Electricity and natural gas fuel our lives. We need energy. So as we continue to transition to more renewable sources of energy, we keep making our world a more comfortable and a cleaner place to live.